Hey guys, Magus Robert here, bringing you another video. Today, we're going to be doing the content list for the Springfield Enlightened uh, content update. So, basically, what these videos are, if you don't know, is I just go through all of the new content that we received during this update. Don't really look at the old content, and yeah, I just sort of go through it all, and we talk about all of the, the new stuff that we got. And I sort of review it all individually. And at the end of the video, I just kind of give my brief overall thoughts of this entire update. So let's get into it, starting with the characters. So we've got um, a lot of characters who are a fair amount. We, you know, we had one guilds deal and then we had one character per act apart from act two where we got an NPC. So we sort of got the usual eight characters. Wait, am I, am I even done? Four? Eight. Yeah, there is eight. Haha! <laughs> um, yeah, the usual eight characters. Well, obviously, the guilds deal was chucked in with the master. So, we're going to go through them all and kind of give my overall thoughts on all of them. Skid Martha. Or Sid Martha, sorry. Skid Martha. I keep calling her Skid Martha. Sid Martha. Sid Martha, I think, is fine. Uh, I liked her inclusion. I think she, out of all the doppelgangers, is the best one. I don't think she's anything amazing, don't get me wrong, because she's still a doppelganger, but to be fair, she does run the event, so I have positive feelings about her overall. Then we have all the doppelgangers, so Marquez Milhouse, don't care, <laughs> Queen Gautama, don't care, Advisor Frink, don't care, and King Gautama, Prince Gautama, don't care, okay? All of them, they're all about on par with each other, to be honest with you. All, all, all of these. I think the worst one out of all of them is probably the Millhouse one. Maybe it's because I don't really like Millhouse that much, but this one was just, like, the least underwhelming. And also Queen Gautama, the Marge's one as well. The Marge one was awful. Um, I didn't like that one whatsoever. At least the Homer, Frank, and Bart had some cool... kind of came with some cool stuff. Um, yeah. Just wasn't a fan of, of both... of any of them, really. And then we've got the two actual character, the two actual only characters that we got. First one, we got the Dalai Lama. I think he's fine. Nothing to go crazy about. Uh, the animations are pretty basic and boring, to be honest. And I wasn't a mass, I wasn't blown away by his animations. The building he comes with is cool, I guess, and the actual character he has voice, so that's always a positive. But yeah, I'm just not, just not a, a massive fan of him. And then finally, the master. I think the master was, for the most part, pretty cool. I was happy. I was pretty happy to get the master. I think definitely think he's the best character out of this entire event. But then the guilds deals often are the best characters. So what are you gonna do? Um, but yeah, I was happy enough with the master. But although his name is weird, I don't know why he's called the master. I feel like Quickie Mart, like C, like Quickie Mart CEO would have been fine. But whatever. So that's characters. Let's move on to. Buildings. Oh no, not buildings. NPCs. We had one NPC in this event, the meditating bear. So he just walks around and when you tap on him, uh, he meditates. Simple. Cool. I actually really liked him, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, nothing nothing bad to say about that. Only positives. I think he's a cool little NPC. Buildings. So let's have a look at some buildings. So we've got... Um, this one, <laughs> I'm not even going to pronounce them, okay? Uh, I, I don't want to butcher it. This building, I like this one for the most part. I, I kind of, I'm, I'm often a little iffy on these corner buildings, but this one looks cool enough. I think you can definitely, yeah, decorate it well. Uh, you can do stuff with it. I think, yeah, there's a lot of potential there, so I'm happy enough with this one. Uh, Madame and Monsieur, M Monsieur, Monsieur, Madame and Monsieur, uh, Monsieur, Monsieur. Uh, this, this one, this one's fine. It's just a simple enough building. Nothing too crazy. Nothing to go crazy about, but it's not like a bad building. It's just fine. Uh, Springfield, Ellie, Ellie, Terry, This one I actually quite like. Uh, we do have similar-ish things, but this one, yeah, for the most part, I'm, I'm, I, I like this one quite a bit. The Royal Tower, don't really care. It's not that interesting. It's it's just a tower. I feel like we've got so many different towers. Maybe it's because we got this tower as well. I was just really underwhelmed with this one. It was I, I honestly thought it was a decoration at, the, at first. But, I mean, at least they had another building in there, I guess. Uh, then we have the Tower of Science. This one is about on par with this one. It's fine, I guess. It's not, it's not terrible, but uh, I don't really... Nothing to go crazy about. Uh, Gautama Palace. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I like this building for the most part. It looks big. It's, it's it, well, it's quite big. It's I would say it's scaled 
correctly. Yeah, looks cool. Uh, ancient multiplayer game. I actually kind of liked it. It's a bit unique. It's it's like a crowd and a building combined. So at the very least, I like the uniqueness. But uh, again, it's not a building I'm crazy about. Uh, the uh, Jog Jogiesa Temple, this one. I like this one. I think this was a really cool building. I probably would say this is my favorite building of the event. It's quite simple. It's quite basic. But at the same time, I, I really like the look of it. And then finally, the Taj Mahal. My second favorite building. Only issue I have is I wish it was a tad tad larger. Just a few few squares uh, wider and uh, in length. I just I just want it to be a tiny bit bigger. But apart from that, I, I, I really like the Taj Mahal as well. And then we have decorations. So let's go through the decorations. So the Golden Buddha, uh, I like this one. Not, not, no, no complaints. I think it's a pretty cool decoration for the most part. The Fu Temple Dog, I'm fine with. I do think it should have just been thrown in the store. I don't know. I don't think it should take up a a section in the prize track. But regardless, I do like it. It's a cool enough decoration. The Body Tree, I I love this. I think this one's huge, and I love it. Um, the Body Tree is is amazing. So. Massive thumbs up to that one. I actually really like. I like. I like it when we get different trees and stuff. Uh, crazy princess viewing area. Uh, not. I'm. I'm fine with this one. I'm not crazy about it. When you tap it, it sort of the rug, this like rug thing changes color, which is kind of cool. The sensory uh, deprivation tank. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't dislike it. I don't love it. I'm indifferent about this one. The party elephant is it's kind of cool, I guess, but again, I, I sort of feel like this one should have just been added to the store. The wet sari contest, I quite like this one. I think it's kind of funny. It's it's something a bit unique. It's not just a crowd, you know. It's a decoration in, in itself, and when you tap it, uh, yeah, the, the the girls get soaked. So, <laughs> yeah, it's got a cool little animation to it. Uh, Sid Martha's ponies, uh, I'm indifferent about that one really. It's not bad. It's not great. Uh, the salt mandala or mandala, I don't know how you say it. Uh, this one. Why? Why? Why add it as a decoration? I, I just uh, there's some things I just don't think really deserve to be decorations. Like, I, I, what the hell am I gonna do with this? Like, how am I meant to decorate this? So, yeah, I'm just not, not, I'm not that bothered. And the enlightenment fountain. Look, why was this the final prize? <laughs> like, it, it's kind of cool, don't get me wrong, but um, it, it's nothing that amazing. Like, I, part of me wants to love this, like, so much, but it's just a recycled a asset. We've already got this whale in the game. Uh, this is recycled, and then these two are, like, it, it just looks so stupid as well. I'm not a fan of this one. It, as cool as it sort of looked in when, when we first saw the, the spoilers leaked, um, I, I just don't care. I, I, no, no. No care given. And then we have some uh, animations. So, here we have uh, both the consumables and the animations. So, obviously, we got the this token as normal. We get the, the, the usual token. But this time, it didn't take up a space in the prize track, which I really liked. It just came with the final prize that you got, which... Yeah, I think this is a much better way of doing the tokens, personally. It allows players to get old items, but it also means it doesn't hinder uh, players who, you know, play for a while. And it doesn't mean that they have to unlock a token where they just get a few donuts back. So, but, you know, they get the token anyway, so they can get those donuts anyway. But, like, you know, if it if it takes up an entire prize track, it just makes the thing feel a bit slow. At least for me, it does anyway. Um, and I do, I do think they're important to add for players who don't have everything. But at the same time... Um, I think it does sort of hinder the gameplay a lot of the time when the when a token's thrown in the prize track. But yeah, for the most part, I was really happy with this. Um, the the fact that they did that, and uh, I had a quick look at the banned by Buddha box, which we'll we'll have a little deeper look in in a sec. But of course, this token is used to open the uh, banned by Buddha box, which I think is a pretty cool um, mystery box. And then of course we've got two animations. Homer meditated. I'm uh, sorry, Homer meditate. Homer's meditate uh, animated job. What can I say? It's fairly simplistic. I don't think it should have taken an entire prize track up. I really think it should have just came with the Golden Buddha statue. Because that's where the animation is uh, takes place. So the animation should have been added alongside the Golden Buddha statue. And then that more justifies it being added as a... Uh, having a place in the prize track like so say if for example homer's meditation job came with the food temple dog i'd be happy enough with 
that being added in the prize track because it's not just the decoration that we're getting we're getting a decoration and an animation so i'm like okay that's fair but like i don't know i don't know i'm normally fine for animated jobs being added as long as they don't take too much up i just would prefer it though if they just added it with a a thing but they did it twice so i have a little complaint the second one we got was of course the lisa uh seek enlightenment or something i feel let me just real quick oh god i just had it up on my screen and then it scrolled up to the top page lisa's reached true enlightenment yeah this one is a little bit cooler i guess uh, but still i still think it should have just been added uh is it on alongside another prize and then let's look at the mystery box. So here's the Bant by the Buddha mystery box. So we've got a lot of stuff in here. Just want to sort of look over it. Uh, the Movementarian compound with the leader. The Preppers compound with Lloyd. The Springfield hunting supplies with Grant Connor. The African tree resort with Katenge. Uh, Piggly's super uh, smog with Mrs. Bouvier. The Slaughterhouse restaurant. Slaughterhouse Express. The Deuce Caboose chili dogs. Swanky fish. Tree Steakhouse, Le, Tru Le Krusty Burger, uh, Dead Lobster, De, Cra De Crazy Kraut with Becky, uh, The Hungry Hun with Uta, The Stonecutter's Table, The um, Improvised Snare, The Meat Propaganda Billboard, and The Turkey Stuffer, um, The Sing and Sirloin, The Pirate Ship with The Sexy Pirate, The so this, this stuff first was obviously all like meat eating, because obviously Buddhists uh, vegetarians. Um... Yeah, this one was pretty cool. Um, I like that. I like the that way to tie it in. Uh, and then we've got some, I guess, uh, sexual stuff. So we've got the uh, pirate ship with the sexy pirate, the League of Extra Horny Gentlemen, Buberella with the uh, sorry Buberella and the uh, the cave with the Buberella um, cave girl Buberella. Um, we got the barra, the beer and brawl with L Lolleen, the. Boiled Potato, the CBGB with Nedward Flanders Senior and Capri Flanders. We got the Coconut Babalu, Darby O'Guslins, the First Clash Lounge with Wales McGarth, Moe's Bury Co., Moho House with Nigel, the Nag and Weasel with Guy Incognito, One Night Stands, Papa Wheelies with Ramrod, the Shishi Lounge, Snub Club, the Spotted Cat, uh, Draggle Rock with Mysterious uh, Waylon, the Duff Gardens with the Lizard Queen Lisa, the Duff Bury with Duffman, the Duff Party Liner, the Little ba Black Box, Caesar's Pow Wow Casino with the Tribal Chief. And um, so now we've done like bars and sort of sexual stuff. We've got uh, casinos. Uh, so we've got the Pow Wow Casino with the Tribal Chiefs, the Casino Concierge Kiosk, Bart, uh, Bart's Casino with Casino Bart Boss, Boss Bart, the Lel, ba Lel Bell uh, Frottage, the Peacock Lounge, Britannia's Casino, Burns' Casino, Cletus' Dice Den, Gaming Moe's, Homer's House of Cards, Lucky Casino, Nero's Palace Casino, Safari Casino, Players Club Tower, the Players Club Tower Upgrade Bundle, so you get a bunch of stuff there, and yeah, and the Dollar Casino. So, that's all the stuff that you get in the mystery box. I think this mystery box, for the most part, is pretty awesome. There's a lot of awesome stuff in there, for sure. Um, there's a few things here which I'm like, eh, I feel like they shouldn't be added in with, with the stuff. Like, I'm fine with buildings being added, but when it comes to, like, decorations, like the, um, the meat propaganda billboard, that feels like a little, I feel like that thing should just be added to the store, for example. But, yeah, most of the stuff in there is, is pretty damn cool. So, that is the update as a whole. I've talked about it all. I know all about it now. What are my opinions of it? Are you ready? Are you ready? Dog shit. All right, this update. This update was dog shit. Okay, I'm. I fucking hated this update. I'm done with it. I'm so done with it. And maybe it's the added like the fact that all the, loads of players are queer and like, oh god, I I just didn't like this update whatsoever. I was optimistic at first. If you watch my like initial review, I'm like, yeah, okay, there's some. Yeah, it's not great. I I don't like this update whatsoever. When I, I honestly, it's it's way worse than um. Love and War. It's by far the worst update of the year. I I, I don't care. I think I think at the very least, at least Love and War. Oh yeah, had a lot of doppelgangers. At least those doppelgangers were kind of were cool. Like they weren't just like they didn't just feel like our characters in dress up. You know, like I don't know. There's a few that like I think Mar even Mar like the Marge Ziff person. Yeah, the animations are like recycled from the Parson, but like at least she has a bit of character and a bit of difference to her. The rest don't, and they would have been fine enough costumes. They would have been great costumes. All of these like doppelgangers we got, but you know, I would have been I would have been happier if they were costumes. 
Um, he's cool. The the buildings are like hit or miss. I mean, like they're fine, but they're all they're all just fine. The only buildings I actually like are these two. The rest of them are just fine. Like I, I don't dislike them really. Uh, the decorations, there is some cool decorations, I can't lie. Um, but the whole thing just feels so underwhelming. That's my biggest word to sum this one up. Underwhelming. I think Rise of Robots was... Uh, I, think, I think the word to describe Rise of Robots was upbeat. Love and War. I think the word to describe Love and War would be... Frustrating? Um, it was frustrating, but there was still some good stuff in there at the very least. And then my word to... What was the other update? Was there another update this year? I don't even remember. Oh, who cares? It doesn't matter. But yeah, overall, uh, this update is just yeah, kind of garbage in my opinion. But anyway, hopefully we're getting a mini event soon in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. I'll be doing a video, whatever whatever mini update that, that we get. I'll, I'm sure, I'll be sure to cover it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Goodbye.